It's certainly hype. I mean, yeah, for sure. We saw the DK. We saw yeah. the Falco. The, the DK we saw the Samus. Not in its prime. <laughs> not in his prime. <laughs> no, he's still working out, still getting there. DK's been in the garage for a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, these. this is not exactly the time either. to air him out and shake yeah. off some, some dust. So, yeah. that, uh, round well, that's robin funny. Up. I do better against uh, Brandon's Fox with my DK than I do against Hobro's Fox. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Hobro's been on a tear today. I think he's in second place. Last time I checked in the, the standings. I don't think this is updated. Uh, oh, no, he's dropped. Nico's taking second place yeah. over Hobro. Nico was playing good earlier. Yeah. Playing well. Rather. That's the one. Yeah. But uh, Walta now playing. Yeah. Bud McJudd Mar actually taking the first no, stock off Walta. Switched. The upset. The upset. I love it. Yeah. Um, um, Walta opting for uh, Falco Day only. Falco only? Did he declare it? Yeah. Is it official? Oh, Maybe no. not official. Cause I, I thought I saw him playing Doc earlier, but uh -huh. um, he might have liked how uh, how his Doc was playing today. Oh, just seems decided. Like, uh, not seems like the flavor of the day. Whenever anyone plays round robins and they have like a few characters to play, might as well play them. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Even it's though like it still counts. It definitely <laughs> still counts for PR, counts. but you know, yeah. maybe doesn't seem to count as much in the eyes of most people. Eh. So. There, there's already so many upsets this season anyway. Like I have no clue what the PR is going to look like, um, <laughs> you know, come three months from now. Oh my God! All right, I have to play my match against Robert De Niro. All right, good luck, man. I will, I will leave you on the mic. Sure. Uh, let's see here, Robert De Niro versus. Uh, I can't find Connor versus uh, uh, Robert De Niro. You won against Matt. What was the score? 2-0? All right. So we got Bud McJud on the stream, and then I was looking for uh, Connor versus, oh yes, there it is. Up next. And it's over. Oh my god, Bud McJud with the 1-0. Are we gonna see the switch? Are we gonna see it? Is this an ASMR stream? <laughs> I just have props. Sorry. This is great. I wish I could talk like this the whole time. Oh, my God. Hits him with that down tilt. God. You might be surprised to hear that I haven't had any caffeine in at least five hours. Uh, this is actually super exciting. I was running sets with Bud earlier. Super fun guy. Giving me tips. Uh, we were playing Mark Dittos, I think I mentioned earlier. But uh, I think most people would consider this pretty a pretty big upset if Bud were able to take it over Walta. But uh, Walta's kind of tightening it up, fixing it up, knows what he needs to do. You know, sometimes the players who've been around longer, they takes a second to, like, get the download going to be like, oh, you're this kind of player. And they just, you know, whoop, and then they switch it up, and it can really change things around like um, like this, like this, this right here, this four, four to two. But uh, Marth versus Falco is explosive. Marth has some sick combos, but you gotta, you gotta know your stuff. You gotta be able to get it going. And uh, Falco is not letting it happen. Walta, dash tech down air, off stage, but standing in the middle saying, please kill yourself. And Walter says, okay, got it. 3-1. Crouching under lasers. These things lock down Marth. You have to be able to show that you can perfect shield them, send them back, or just be evasive to try to get out of that laser pressure. Falco can send one, two lasers your way. Oh, no, edge guard. Scary. Down air. He's dead. I think he was at seven or something, and he got down air, and he's dead. It's two stocks to one, though. And the combo starts out from Falco. Laser, thought he was gonna get the read. Down throw, not quite. Oh, another forward smash. Every time you roll, you might die against this man. But instead he descends, I'm just gonna kill myself. Jab up smash, but that's not Fox, he lives. 
Walks to the center stage, gets hit. The pressure's on. He's sweating. Gets a grab. No follow-up. Goes for the crazy counter and doesn't get punished for it. Oh my god, if that grab had landed, if he had just... I know Mart's grab range is insane, but he just right out of his range. He had started a huge combo on Falco. But uh, Bud hasn't exactly shown his combo uh, prowess in this matchup. And it can get really messed up on that stage because uh, of the moving platforms that just went Really annoying for Marth. I don't know why anyone loves that stage, other than the fact that it's gorgeous with great music. But uh, now we're here in this way boring stage that's great for Marth called Final Destination. It's great because uh, no platforms means it's hard to get out of the combos. And um, it's nice and wide, so Marth can use his good dash speed. And oh, this stage guard. Oh, he flubbed it. I think he went out there to up B in the other direction and like just murder Falco. But he pulled back and then got clipped by the Firefox. And um, you can definitely still bring this back. This is the stage you, you need to be on as, as Marth to make this comeback happen against Spacey's. Good edge guard, rolling from the ledge, covering it. This is good. Three to three, it's basically even. Missing that read on the down air. We got grabs. All right, I'll put it down. Oh, bro, over in the conics. Well, those two are, are having a crazy run today. They're uh, very close to second place. Which I don't know how that's gonna work at the end. Like, are they all gonna play out like first, second, third or something? I don't know. Depends on the rules for the round robin. I don't know if there's official rules for that. But uh, this match is crazy close. Up air not gonna kill, it's Falco. It doesn't hit quite as hard as Fox's. But the LP was too high and he got clipped by the forward smash. This is a lead. Walt is gonna wanna, uh, oh no, he jumps, gets forward smashed. It's even, it's 2-2. Two -two. Anything freaking happen. Oh, that down there was safe. He went for the grab, but it wasn't out. No, combo time. He just kind of backs off. Didn't get a read on the roll out. People are, it's scary to roll out against Marth. You roll out of the stage, you might get forward smash and just die. But that's why he did it. Bud didn't believe. Oh, spot dodges the forward smash. This is crazy. Lasers, grab. Edge situation. Kind of just dashed it all over him, betting him to do something. We've seen Bud go for some unorthodox options when he's pressured, like counter. Maybe Walter was waiting for something so he could punish it. Oh, the jab missing the, the Phantom. Shine, up B, Tex it. He's still, oh, almost punished, but not quite. Jumps, counters, he's back on the stage. Uh, that would have been a tipper for sure. Uh, up B out of shield. Oh, he had, to, he had to hit that down tilt, but he was just a little bit late. His shield is looking smaller and smaller. It's like a small loaf getting down to, oh no, down smash. There's no way he's coming back from that. I was gonna say it goes from like a loaf of bread to like a Skittle. It's usually the Skittle as we see. It's even. What am I talking about? One, one, last stock, the last game. He gets the grab, no follow up. <laughs> it's up throw into up throw is what you're, th you're thinking of wanting. Yes, but the spaghetti is everywhere. Up throw, no re-grab. He was just DI'd right out of that uh, up throw. Marth wants this grab so bad. When uh, Falco's at this percentage, he gets all sorts of follow-ups. He says, you know what, screw it, forward smash. You could die at any time. Off stage, what's gonna happen? And he gets spiked by the side B. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but, uh, but not super happy about that. 